friend Mike is launching his Why I Occupy booth, which is uh, over here. If you get some time in between acts, I recommend going there and just let, on video, let people know why you're here, what you think the solutions for things like this are, how do you think things can change. So why are you here? Uh, because I, uh, a lot of reasons. <laughs> because I'm, uh, I'm pro-union, I'm uh, against uh, racism, uh, against all the wars that the U.S. keeps getting into, uh, against the poverty that the system seems to be pushing right now. Everyone right. has to get them lowest wage possible so that the corporations can get the highest profits possible. So are you, are you um, outside no. of the Occupy? Or no, with I'm actually, my name is Thomas Francis. I am uh, running for president in 2012. So I just think that it's time for uh, one of the people to step up and not one of these politicians. I think that I, I'm the sharpest knife in the drawer right now, and until somebody comes along and shows me otherwise, I'm going for the I'm going for the throat. So. I guess our methodology has been to stay true to the idea of a leaderless, grassroots, organic movement. Um, and we believe that our process is our message. And so it's really important to us to, if it takes, even though it takes a really, really long time, we do everything by consensus. We allow everybody to be here and to represent their issue um, as long as they remain peaceful. Um, so when you're talking about a movement that incorporates 99% of this population, that's a really large movement that is very multifaceted and has a lot of like ideas and plans and goals and strategies. Um, so it'll take us a really long time to get um, set kind of maybe a coherent strategy to see economic and political change. But right now our strategy has just been our process. And our process is a peaceful assembly that's organic and leaderless. I think people are approaching our movement um, out of curiosity and kind of trying to understand what we are doing from a traditional paradigm of protest. This is a really new thing that we're doing right now. Um, it can't really be compared to past protest movements. Um, 
and to try and like shift out of that paradigm of like representative leaders or elected leaders. So far, we haven't yet done that. I'm saying what it says here. It takes a lot of money out of our schools, also out of our infrastructure. If you listen to your message, no, when you make a bomb, take for instance one example. When Lockheed Martin makes a bomb, it explodes. Right. And Where goes the product? Right, nothing. Right, nothing. Then they right. make another bomb, another right. bomb, another bomb, and they're making money like this. They don't right. get too damn right. about the people. Yeah. In other words, if it was infrastructure or building or education, it would go towards something. Yeah, exploding yes. other yes. infrastructure, right. destroying right. it. Destroying then, people. Yeah, then we got to rebuild. Right. I'm here because I'd like to see this movement grow into a party for the working class of this country. That's what I would like to see. And I think it's really important to adhere to the ideas of trust, comfort, respect and peace um, and allow things to develop in the same way that they have developed. My name is Bailey and I'm, I volunteer at the information desk. The class system, working class versus the rich billionaires who are uh, running, actually not just here but the whole world. What, most of the people watching this you think are 99 percenters? Well, I, I don't quite agree with 99% because it's maybe the top 10% are really exploiting the rest of the 90%. It's still small. 1% is too small. Yeah. I think it's larger than 1%. But I agree, it's sort of, uh, it's raising a class, uh, a class divide in this country that hasn't been raised since the 30s. So that's a good development.